Vector Man is a run-and-gun game released in 1995 for the aging Sega Genesis. The year is 2049, and humans have all left Earth in search of new planets to deplete. Left behind are Orbots, charged with cleaning up the massive mess the human race has left on planet Earth. An Orbot named Raster has become self-aware and taken over the planet. However, upon returning to Earth, our protagonist Vector Man takes it upon himself to put things back to normal. Being a late release, first party title, my expectations for Vector Man were quite high. Thankfully, almost immediately, you can tell this is a first class release. The opening stage features a great cloudy background. When combined with the detailed waving animations on the flags, there is a convincing feeling of wind which matches the post-apocalyptic feeling the story presents. After oogling the graphics, you will then notice how smooth the controls are. Vector Man has the perfect amount of momentum as he runs and jumps. The shooting feels excellent as well, and everything is super crisp and responsive. The attention to detail is simply outstanding. As Vector Man shoots, there is a recoil in his arm and torso, giving the weapons a real sense of oomph. When you destroy an enemy, the screen shakes, furthering that sense. Vector Man has plenty of graphical effects as well. The lens flare here is particularly impressive, as there appears to be transparencies, which is something the Genesis cannot do. How the developers pulled it off is a complete mystery to me. The art direction, as a whole, is awesome. There is absolutely no vegetation to be found, and you do get that feeling all of Earth's natural resources have been exhausted. All that remains are mountains, caves, and steel structures. Despite these limitations, the environment still managed to feel varied. This is achieved with different color palettes representing different times of day, as well as changing weather. Beyond that, you'll find yourself underwater and traversing abandoned mines. Vector Man is mostly a side-scrolling affair, but there are a couple top-down diversions as well. Here, you are on a minecart high in the air, shooting a robot trying to drag you down. In this stage, you must take down an Orbot on a dance stage while avoiding tornadoes. Rounding out the technical aspects is the soundtrack. Vector Man features high-energy, techno-inspired tunes that sound great and match the futuristic world. Unfortunately, the volume is a bit too low, and it can be a struggle to hear them. Thankfully, the sound effects are terrific. From the firing sounds of your weapon, to the thunder in the background, and the exploding of enemies, Vector Man is a feast for the ears. Traversing through Vector Man's 16 stages is a terrific experience. The stages are a bit basic and linear, but there are little touches here and there that keep them above average. Destroying some enemies will give Vector Man temporary transformations, turning him into a drill, a buggy, a fish, or even a bomb. Sometimes these transformations will allow Vector Man to unlock a hidden section of the level to find more TV sets to boost your score or find other goodies. There are temporary weapon upgrades as well, giving Vector Man even more firing power and increased spread. Unfortunately, these weapon upgrades really only change the pattern of your bullets and basically function the same. I would have appreciated more variety here. Another minor letdown are the bosses. They are surprisingly infrequent and their patterns are very basic. This boss here doesn't even make sense and I cannot tell you why I am not taking damage. Generally, they don't live up to the high standards set by the rest of the game. Finally, the overhead stages feel tacked on and sloppy. Still, minor nitpicking aside, Vector Man is a fantastic adventure from start to finish. The controls feel great and are easily up there with the best games in the genre. The different transformations add some replay to the game as you try and figure out why you have turned into a bomb or missile in search of hidden areas trying to achieve 100% completion. Vector Man features no continues, but it isn't too hard to rack up enough lives to forgive this omission. Additionally, the pacing is perfect and the game isn't all that long, taking around 90 minutes from start to finish. 
I really can't say enough about this one. The graphics are really outstanding, and Vector Man performs some graphical tricks I have not seen replicated in other Genesis titles. The art direction and sound effects are top-notch, and a nice send-off for the aging system. Above all else, this is an incredibly fun, polished title that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best running guns out there. Vector Man is not quite as good as Gunstar Heroes or Metal Slug, but it's really close. 4 out of 5.